Hey guys, welcome to Geo on Motsuku. In today's video, we are doing the types of rivers. So we have four types of rivers covered in geography. Number one, we have the permanent river. We know this one is our perennial river. This is the river which flows throughout the year, right? On our map, we see it by having a solid blue line on the map. This represents our perennial river on our maps. And then number two, we have our periodic river, also known as the non-perennial river. This one is a broken line on our map. It represents a river which flows seasonally. It only uh, flows during rainy seasons. Uh, number three, we have an episodic river. An episodic river flows after a period of heavy rainfall, right? After a period of heavy rainfall. And it flows for a short period of time after that heavy rainfall. And then number four, we have the exotic river. The exotic river flows from an area which has a lot of rainfall, right? It flows from a humid area or from a wet area to a dry area. So it originates from a wet area, and then it goes towards a dry area and flows there. That's an exotic river, right? So one more time, number one, it's a permanent river. But what permanent should tell you that it flows throughout the year, right? Permanent river is also known as a perennial river. Number two, periodic river. Periodic river. This one flows every year, but only during the rainy seasons. Only flows during rainy seasons. So the periodic river is seasonal. It is a seasonal river, right? And then episodic river. This one flows after a period of heavy rainfall, right? It is short-lived. After a period of heavy rainfall, you get this one. Then lastly, exotic river. This one originates from an area where there's high, heavy rainfall, right? Wet, from a wet area, and then it goes and flows uh, across a dry area. Exotic, from a wet area, and flows across a dry area. Okay, now let me do them individual. But before I go there, let's look at this sketch, right? On this sketch, I have my river. Here's my river in blue. So for this topic, we need to know uh, two things. I want you guys to know what is a riverbed. A riverbed is uh, the bottom surface of a river, a river channel where the water flows, right? And then I want you guys to also know what is a water table, a water table. Now a water table is the upper level of ground water, right? Of ground water. Remember, because of infiltration, we have ground water. We have water below the ground right so this brown line here is showing us the level of the ground water now the level the upper level of ground water is known as the water water table water table the upper level of ground water but you notice that i have two lines i have a solid line and a dashed line these lines are representing the levels of the ground water they are representing the water table in two different seasons, right? This, the one with the solid line, is representing the level of the ground water during rainy seasons. During rainy what? Seasons. This solid line is showing me the level of ground water. Obviously, when there's heavy rainfall during rainy seasons, the ground water level will be higher, right? Because there's more infiltration, more water going below the ground. So the level of the water table will be higher during rainy seasons right there'll be more water below the ground but during dry seasons during dry this dotted line or this dashed line is showing me the water table the level of the ground water during dry season during dry seasons obviously there'll be less water going into the ground right hence the water table or the level of ground water will be lower right so this line here this brown line is showing us the water table, the upper level of the ground water. Okay, so knowing the position of the water table, right, in relation to our river or our riverbed, is going to help us distinguish between these four rivers, right? Okay, now let me start with these two. Let me start with the permanent river and the periodic river, right? The PP, PP. Uh, I don't know, start with EE, -E, episodic and exotic. This one is permanent and exotic. So the permanent river, I told you, I told you guys already, this one is our perennial river. It is the perennial river. And our periodic uh, river is the non-perennial. 
perennial river, right? We know that the perennial river flows throughout the year. So our permanent river flows throughout the year. Guys, the word permanent should tell you that it flows throughout the year. Hence, it is known as a permanent river or a perennial river, right? And I told you guys about these lines before. I told you these lines are representing the, uh, the level of the groundwater. They are representing my water table, right? This is the position of my water table during rainy season. And this is the position of the water table during the dry season. The same applies on this side. Position of my water table during the rainy season and position of the water table during the dry season. Okay, now for my permanent river, I want you guys to notice that the water table intersects my river bed, right? It intersects the river bed both during the rainy season. You see it's cutting through it during the rainy season and during the dry season. You see during the dry season it's also touching my water bed. So the so it's also touching my river bed, sorry. It's also touching my river bed. So for a permanent river, you tell me that it flows throughout the year and the water table intersects. It does what? It inter section you can see it's cutting through it the water table intersects the river bed both in the rainy uh, seasons and in the dry seasons right so the water table intersects the river bed both in the rainy seasons and in the dry season but let's look at our periodic river which is a non-perennial this one flows only during the rainy seasons during rainy what seasons the non-perennial flows during the rainy season so you can say that it is a seasonal you can say that it is a seasonal it is a seasonal river it flows during rainy seasons and now let's look at our water table during rainy seasons yes the water table intersects the river bed but during the dry seasons it does not intersect the river bed so the water table only intersects the river bed during rainy season okay. so the water table only intersects the river bed during rainy seasons for the periodic river remember right? periodic river i told you it is non-perennial it is seasonal it is seasonal so it only occurs or these these rivers only flow during rainy seasons so our water table only intersects the river bed during rainy what seasons during dry seasons you can see it is not touching the river bed it is not touching it does not intersect but for my permanent river the water table intersects the river bed both in the rainy and in the dry seasons can you see rainy and dry they are both intersecting the river bed both of them for a permanent river but for a periodic river the water table only intersects the river bed during rainy season, right? So permanent throughout the year. Periodic only during uh, rainy seasons, right? Only during rainy seasons. Permanent is a, is a perennial river. A periodic river is a non-perennial river. This one is seasonal. This one flows throughout the year. It flows throughout the year. Okay, now let's move on to episodic rivers and exotic rivers, right? Episodic and uh, exotic rivers. Let me start with episodic, right? So episodic rivers flow for a short period of time. These ones flow for a short period of time. For a short period of time after heavy rainfall. After heavy rainfall you find a river flowing only for a short period of time right for episodic think about watching a series a series has uh, seasons and a season has episodes episodes are shorter than a season right so episodic rivers flow for a short period of time after heavy rainfall after heavy rainfall you see i didn't i didn't even spend time drawing a river here because these ones only flow for a short period of time and they dry out right episodic river short period of time after heavy rainfall look at my water table the level of, uh, of the groundwater it does not intersect the river bed it doesn't intersect it at all my water table this is my water table during rainy seasons this is my level of groundwater 
during dry season, which is the level of groundwater. You can see that this water is not touching the riverbed at all. It does not intersect the riverbed because this one is episodic. It only flows after heavy rainfall for a short period of time and then it dries out, right? Now, let me go to exotic. Now, exotic river, this one is a permanent river. An exotic river is permanent. It is a permanent river. It is a permanent river, but what makes it so special is the fact that it originates at a humid area. Humid area, a wet area, or an area which is a high, which is high rainfall. That's where it originates, but it flows through a dry area, right? So it, it originates in areas where there's high rainfall, but it flows through dry areas. Right, this is a permanent river which flows or which originates from humid or wet areas and then it flows through dry areas. That's the exotic river. It is permanent. It is permanent, but it flows from a humid area. It originates there. It originates from a humid or wet area and then it flows through a dry area. Uh, sometimes you may be wondering, why does a desert have a river? Why is there a river in a desert? Why is there a river flowing through a desert? It is because that river is exotic. That river flows from a wet area, from where there's heavy rainfall, and then it goes through the desert. An example is the Nile River. It is the Nile River. It flows from a wet area, or it originates at a wet area, and then it goes through a dry area or a desert. That's my exotic river. It is permanent. It is permanent. You can see it's also not touching the water table because it, it gets its water. It gets its water supply from that area where it originates from that wet area. That's where it gets the water supply, right? My episodic river gets the water supply from that heavy rainfall. From that period, short period of heavy rainfall, it gets the water there. You see that? 